Yo, I would like to talk about something really quick. I posted a few vlogs uh, um, a few weeks back where there was uh, pool playing in the vlogs. And if you've ever been uh, in a band that plays uh, multi-band um, bills or uh, open jams or whatever, you've probably uh, been in a lot of bars um, with pool tables had a lot of time to burn and uh, played some pool. That's how most musicians kind of uh, get into playing uh, pool. So it's something that I do. And <clears throat> the some of the vlogs had uh, some pool playing in it. And I had a, a lot of questions about uh, what kind of cue I use. So I thought I would briefly just uh, show my cue. And uh, so uh, I use this cue right here. This is a 1980 McDermott Q Irish linen wrap. Uh, this is kind of a bird's eye maple right here. It's got these uh, nifty little uh, inlaid uh, things on there. And oh, if you look really, I don't know if we're going to be able to pick this up. But there is a little clover right here with an M in it. That's for McDermott. Uh, it has these kind of white ivory looking parts. And two shafts. As you can see, one has been used a lot more than the other. It's got this cool little detailing there. And um, I can't really remember what kind of tips I'm using right now, but um, something expensive, something cool, most likely uh, something Japanese. Um, this uh, linen wrap is super smooth, by the way. Uh, this is not my only pull cue, but I won't show you uh, my other cue uh, right now. This is uh, the primary cue that I use. It is a 1980 Mickey. Yo, what's up? Bob here. Welcome to the vlog. <clears throat> Woo! It is a hot one today. It's been hot for a while. Uh, very, very, very hot anyway. outside. Okay. Let's jump right into it. Uh, I bought some things this week. Um, <clears throat> let's just uh, let's get right onto that. First of all, bam! Could not give it back. I had to get the MXR phaser. Um, once I got this thing working and everything tidied up inside, it just sounded so incredible. I just didn't want to let it go. So uh, the store offered it to me for a uh, screaming deal, and I bought it. Thanks a lot. You know who you are. <clears throat> anyway, next. Um, picked up some of these. I, if you've been watching the vlog for a while, you know that I already have uh, barefoot buttons. Let's see if we can get that in the uh, focused up here. Yeah, barefoot buttons. I, I picked up a few of these this week. Um, <clears throat> to, I don't know. They're kind of goofy. It annoys some people. It's not that big of a deal to step on the button on your pedal, but that does make it a bit easier. And in the heat of battle, you need it to be as easy as possible. Anyway, <clears throat> next up, Benchmade, uh, Mel Pardue Design. This is, uh, I don't know which one this one is, but uh, I'm gonna use this Benchmade to open up this padded envelope.
Uh oh. Bam. Inside. Stoneworks Picks. It's the company Stoneworks. Pull one out for you. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if we can see anything there, but try to focus that up. If we could. It says Stoneworks Picks on it. But these are very cool. Highly polished. Um, I believe uh, these are agate, possibly. I don't know. But they look uh, pretty neato. And uh, I bought some of these. And I'm going to try them out. Ooh. Try to get a really good shot of um, of these picks, and I'll put it. I'll insert it in the video. Try to get one that uh, kind of shows the, a shot that shows the detail in the proper lighting situation and whatnot. But uh, I bought five of them. They're pretty neat. Uh, very cool. Been wanting those for a little while, so um, happy I got them. Uh, next up, boom, new pedal day. This is a love pedal, the Twin 60. Let's open it up, see what's inside. Oh yeah. Now, this is in the same form factor as another pedal that I uh, use made by love pedal, the Chula. Uh, basically what you got going on is uh, you turn it on here and then there's a boost here and these knobs control the boost. But uh, these ha this has uh, essentially uh, two volumes and uh, um, you know all that. The Chula works in a slightly different way. But it's a very similar form factor and I will compare this pedal to the Chula. This is more of a, like a very clean clonish type thing um, so I'm really excited to try this out uh, the Chula has sort of a edgier kind of raspy tone uh, I believe the Chula is loosely based off the Church of Tone circuit so it might even just be the Church of two two of the Church of Tone circuit so but very excited about the twin six the twin twin 60 so, uh, all this is coming up, plus uh, a few more little things here and there. Uh, yeah, let's get on with the vlog.
So you may remember uh, a few months ago, I went to a Marcus King show and it was great. And at that show, I noticed that he was using the same microphone that I do. Uh, Telefunken M80 microphone. Great mic. And <clears throat> I was uh, excited about it. I thought, well, that's cool. Because uh, he's a great singer. And, um, well, I noticed that he was using this cool mic cable that was also made by Telefunken that had this all pretty nifty right angled plug on it. And I came home and I said, I've got to get one of those cables. I even said it on the vlog. And lo and behold, the next week I had one. I called Sweetwater and ordered uh, this from them. And it's been the primary mic cable for the um, the grow room and last week I turned the mic on and guess what it was dead so I changed the mic cable out and it started to work again so I suspect that something is wrong with this mic cable and it's probably gonna be and this right angle uh, jack right here. So let's take it apart and take a quick look. I've already got my soldering iron heating up just in case. Uh, it's something that I can easily fix. And uh, let's see if we can fix it. All right. So lo and behold, guess what we've got here? Let's see if we can get in on this. On this red Quick wire disclaimer. Right I believe that if I would have contacted Sweetwater, Snapped they would have sent me out a new door. mic cable. They're a pretty uh, good company. Also, that said, I wanted to investigate what was going on with the mic cable here on the vlog. Tisk, that tisk. way we would know what the true Telephone facts thing. were. And what the facts are repair and uh, goes something like this. Telefunken, Go get your shit together, now. man. You left no room for error in that cable. The tolerances, there weren't any tolerances. If the cable got pulled Service on at all, cable. the tiniest piece of wire was connected to the piece. jack. What did you think was going to happen? Of wire? Jeez Louise, man. We're gonna go the, you think that thing's ready for the stage? Please. That thing was just sitting. It wasn't even touched. It was just plugged in and laying in the floor. No, no one stepped on it. No, nothing was pulled on. And... Two out of five stars. Telefunken.
Yeah, I like that. Do you like that? That's not how everybody else usually. They just go into it. Uh, I didn't mind it. Yeah, it's not bad. Thank mm -hmm. you.